Jesus said, "As the Father has loved you, I have loved you." If Jesus didn't love the world enough, he wouldn't have volunteered to come to this world to die on the cross for us. Niebuhr writes that、um, Jesus, because Jesus is a moral Son of God in His love, hope, faith, obedience, and humility in the presence of God.、Um, therefore, He is the moral mediator of the Father's will towards man, because He loves the Father with the perfection of human eros. Therefore, He loves man with the perfection of divine agape, since God is agape. Uh, because he is obedient to the Father's will, therefore he exercises authority over man, commanding obedience not to his own will but to God's. Because he hopes in God, therefore he gives promises to man. Because he trusts perfectly in God, who is faithful, therefore he is trustworthy in his own faithfulness towards man, etc., etc. I just want to clarify that Jesus loves the world on his own. Jesus didn't love the world because he loves the Father. Okay, it is it, you know、uh, Niebuhr's statements and on his book Christ, this book, right? Christ and culture is really coming short of who the divinity of Christ is is diminishing. The incarnate Christ, yes, loved God the Father, loved the world, but in his own right, he is God. He loves the world on his own accord. And、uh, he and the father working as a team, perfect team, in different roles, and the incarnate form is always very, very confusing. But I just want to say that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, comes into the world. For God so loved the world, He gave His only Son to the world. Whoever believes in Him shall not perish. There's enough instances Jesus said, "I love you," and I. I have loved you, and I've, I've taught you, and all this. Jesus is the mediator between God the Father and the human beings, humanity. That's true in the incarnate person of Christ, as a human being. Okay, but in His、uh, even before He came to the world, He's God Almighty. It's, it's equal, equal with God the Father, Trinity, Trinitarian God, mysterious. It's just so important. So Jesus loves the world. And he died for the world to save the world, so that the whole world would come under him. He bring him back to himself and to God the Father. And he said, "My Father and I are one."